Hey everyone, Joe here. Welcome to part two of the Audacity Accelerator course. In this part, I'm gonna show you how to download and install the latest version of Audacity. I'm gonna be showing you in Windows 10, but the, the process is very similar on the other versions. And I will briefly show you where you can find the downloaders for those versions too. So let's get started. So here we are on our Windows 10 machine. And the process is very similar on the other versions as well and um, it's just a case of finding where the correct installers are but i will show you where you can find those so first you want to open your browser you want to go to audacityteam.org it's already filled out for us that's audacityteam.org and make sure it's this um this official website with the secure connection icon and everything um and then it's just a case of Download Audacity, and there you've got the three versions right there in front of you. So we're downloading it for Windows today. You can find the, the software on, on other websites, other download websites as well, but it's best to get it off the official website so you make sure that it's safe and you're getting the, the latest version. So current version time of recording is 2.4.2. .2. And then the easiest way to do this is just clicking there, Audacity, 2.4.2 installer it links you to their download site and then you've got the windows installer you can download the zip file uh, it's just quicker to, to use the installer version so we're going to download that while that's downloading let's just go back and have a look down the page on that download page we've got this optional downloads section now this is where you can download more effects plugins Let's take a quick look at that one. And then you can also download um, different import export libraries, which we're going to need. Um, so there's your plugins page, but we don't need to worry too much about that right now. It's just for downloading extra effects and things, but we do want to get that import export library because it lets you import and export many additional audio formats such as AC3, M4A and WMA. It means that you won't have have uh, have any troubles if with compatibility when you add your when you import your audio so I clicked on that link and then it brings us to the audacity manual and then we've got recommended installer go to the external ffmpeg download page okay open that in a new tab accept those cookies and then you've got the installer package, LAME, it's called. I don't, I don't remember what that stands for, but um, yeah, you've got the LAME encoder. Now, it used to be, uh, back when I first started using Audacity, that you couldn't even do MP3 files without the LAME encoder, so I've always gotten used to installing that. But now you can use MP3s in Audacity without installing um, the LAME encoder. So it's not technically essential, but it's worth just having... Um, so in the future, if you do do want to use other file formats, then you can. Now these are all downloaded, so let's open our Audacity uh, installer. I do recommend using a, a virus scan on that um, on your own machine, even even though it's coming from the official website. It's always worth doing. But let's open that up and install. Pick your language next. Now this might look slightly different if you're installing a newer version, if you're watching this later, but it's generally been the same across for the last few years. So choose your location. Let's create a desktop shortcut. And I'm gonna reset the preferences. I've had an installation on this before, but I wanna show you exactly what it looks like right from the start before making any changes. So yeah, we're gonna install that. It's very quick, it's a very lightweight, small program. That's sort of what I love about, about Audacity. Next, and then let's might as well go straight into launch. Let's set preferences. Yeah, I'm going to do that. You probably won't have that that coming up if you haven't had Audacity. Uh, and then you've got links to the manual. If you feel free to feel free to take a look at that. But for now, we're just going to look at our default view. So that's all installed. It's really simple. Um, but I'm just going to close that and install our import export library as well lame encoder so lame setup version 3.99 make sure you install audacity before you install this because this is kind of an add-on and that again that's it so now you should 
have a bunch of other file formats that Audacity will accept. One extra thing, if you did download one of the libraries to import different formats, once you've installed it and you've loaded up Audacity, you will just need to go to Edit, Preferences, and then Libraries, and then locate where you've where you've saved that, um, that FFmpeg library. So normally that's gonna be found within Program Files, Lame for Audacity, and then there's a DLL file, and you can just find it um, with the browse feature and click OK. And only then will it be sort of activated to import other formats that aren't available by default. Some of the formats, even if they are supported, if it's got some kind of file protection on the file itself, it might have issues with it and you'd, you'd just need to use a different file in that case or, or remove that. Now, if you have any issues loading up Audacity or something's not looking quite right, you can give your PC a restart. That normally solves any issues with installations. Um, you can try reinstalling. You can also just double check that your system does meet the requirements, which it probably does. It's, it's a very easy to run program, but it's suggesting that you need Windows 10 now. To be honest, if it should work on, on the other versions, but if it doesn't, you've got legacy installers there, um, which is just when you scroll down on that download page. Uh, and it suggests at least at least two gig of RAM and one gigahertz processor, which 99% of PCs these days are going to have. So um, there's not much to worry about there. You can also use the forum if you're having any, any more issues with installation still, or just leave a comment below and I'll, I'll see if I can help you out. Now that we've got Audacity all installed and ready, the next part is to import some audio, which is what we're going to be going over in part three. I'm going to show you how to import audio, whether it's for a uh, backing track or for uh, some podcast recordings that you'll be editing. And that will set you up for part four, where I'm going to be going over the user interface. You'll find out where everything is, where all the tools are that you need to edit your audio. So hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified when the next video is up and leave a like if this video helped you and let me know in the comments section below. Are you new to Audacity or have you used it before? And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in part three.